Buongiorno! In this video I'm going to show you what you are going to learn by following the pathways available in the Copilot Developer Camp. In fact, the Copilot Dev Camp is a workshop and a set of training materials for makers and professional developers who want to learn how to build agents for Microsoft 365 Copilot. The content is divided into three main pathways – Make, Extend and Build. So, let's dig into each of them with practical examples. First of all, you need to choose where you want to start from, whether you are a maker, a professional developer or both. If you want to create a solution with no code and low code, you should go for the make path. And in there, you will find three different sub options. The very first one we are going to dig into is the Copilot Studio Agent Builder options, which is called Path MAB. In that one, as an end user, you will be able to create agents to extend Microsoft 365 Copilot and the Copilot chat. Let's have a look at what you can do in practice using this approach. In the Make Path about Agent Builder, you will learn how to create an agent from within the Microsoft 365 Copilot chat experience, simply by selecting the Create an Agent button and configuring your agent either by providing a description of the agent itself or using a step-by-step -step configuration of the agent. Specifically, in the lab, you will learn how to create a gardener agent, which will give you instruction about how to maintain your home garden. And you will see how you can define a custom icon for the agent, a custom description and a set of instructions, how you can define the knowledge base of the agent relying on a SharePoint online document library, how you can enable capabilities like, for example, the image generator, and how to define a set of starter prompts to provide a better user experience to your end users. Let's play with the Gardener agent in action, and for example, let's provide a prompt like how can I maintain my home garden? The agent will give you back a set of instructions about how to maintain your garden based on the knowledge base, and it will also challenge you to play a game to guess the name of a plant based on a set of clues. At the end of the lab, you will be able to do all of that by yourself using the agent builder. Still wearing the hat of a maker, let's say that you want to create an agent targeting not only Microsoft 365 Copilot chat, but also Microsoft Teams or many more channels available through Microsoft Copilot Studio. As such, you will go for the Microsoft Copilot Studio path, which is called MCS. So again, let's dig into that one and let's see a practical example. In the main path about Copilot Studio, you will learn how to create agents targeting Microsoft Teams or Microsoft 365 Copilot chat. Specifically, you will create an agent, an hypothetical HR agent, to help the HR department to manage a list of candidates. You will see how to create the agent and how to provide a custom icon, custom description, a set of instructions, how to define a custom knowledge base based on an external website and on a document library stored in SharePoint Online. You will see how to create a custom topics and specifically one topic to register a new candidate through an adapter card form. You will see how to create actions to consume an external API and list all of the candidates stored in the system. And these candidates will be managed through a Power Platform connector that you will learn how to create and how to register in the Power Platform. And you will also see how you can implement the backend of the connector creating an Azure function with Node.js and TypeScript. And here you can see this uh, function is providing capabilities to get uh, the list of candidates or a single one uh, and to add or remove a single candidate. And when you will uh, rely on this agent, for example, in Teams, uh, you will be able to do stuff like uh, registering a new candidate and this will trigger a topic that will provide you a, an adaptive card form uh, to register the data of a candidate. Let's use this sample one, for example, who does speak uh, uh, English and Italian for the sake of making an example, and who does have computer programming and project management skills. And by submitting this request to the adaptive card form, a new item will be registered in the backend service. And you can validate that because under the cover, in the REST API, we can see that we invoke the add candidate under the identity of the current user. 
So you will also learn how to use authentication and authorization in place in a Power Platform connector through an agent which will consume that Power Platform connector. We can also list the uh, candidates that we have in the system once we have added a new one, and we can see that we now have the new uh, item for John White in the list of candidates available through the service. But you can do more. You will also learn how to use the same functionalities from an agent hosted in the Microsoft 365 Copilot chat. You will create an agentic HR agent, which can be used to interact with the same backend API to list the candidates or to add a new candidate to the list in the backend. We need to allow the Microsoft 365 Copilot chat to consume the backend API. And once you have done that, you will get back from the same REST API as before, exactly the same list of candidates. And here we are, we have John White in this list as well. So that's what you will learn going through the make path for Copilot Studio. Last but not least, as a maker, you might want to create an agent which target content stored in SharePoint Online only. If that is the case, you should go for the SharePoint agent path, which is called MSA. So let's dig into that one and see a practical example. In the make path about SharePoint agents, you will learn how to create agents for SharePoint Online sites and library. And you will see that it is so simple that you simply need to select the create an agent button in the UI of SharePoint Online to create a fresh new agent on top of the content that you have selected. Like for example, here, the documents in this document library, which is made of a set of resumes of hypothetical HR candidates. So that once you have done that, you can simply provide a prompt to the agent, like for example, find candidates who have .NET development expertise and who speak Spanish based on their resumes. And by doing that, the agent will search for you the right documents and give you information about the right candidates targeting your requirements. You will also see how you can share the SharePoint agent that you just created in a Teams chat to improve the accessibility to this kind of information and capabilities. That's what you will learn in the make path for SharePoint agents. Now let's switch to the professional developer side of the story. And let's say that you want to extend Microsoft 365 Copilot chat, leveraging the same engine and foundational model used by Microsoft 365 Copilot, but providing an agent with a specific context and a specific scope of content for a target scenario. That's the case of a declarative agent, and you should go for the extend path. So let's have a look at what you can do with the extend path and with declarative agents. In the extend path, you are going to learn how to create declarative agents using the Teams Toolkit and targeting Microsoft 365 Copilot chat. Specifically, you will create a trade genie agent, which helps you find consultants, manage projects and build hours to customers. The agent will provide functionalities like, for example, the capability to search for specific consultants through a backend REST API implemented using Node.js and TypeScript. So let me trigger this prompt. It will go to a backend API using authentication and authorization in place. We need to allow the Microsoft 365 Copilot chat to consume this backend API. Let me allow it once now and it will consume the backend API in a secure way, as I was telling you, using open authorization and authentication and authorization in place. And it gives you back the output of the search, also providing adapted cards for a better rendering of the information. But you can do more. We can also search for the project my user is involved to or has seen to. And we are going to consume the same API as before with a different endpoint. We still need to allow the chat to consume the backend API and we can get back an answer with information about the project that I'm assigned to. And again, we can rely also on adaptive cards for rent. Under the cover of this declarative agent, we have a source project in Visual Studio Code based on Teams Toolkit and you will learn how to define the JSON declarative file for your declarative agent, including all of the conversation starters, the capabilities. In fact, this agent will be able to 
use uh, SD knowledge base, a set of documents stored in SharePoint Online, and a connector that you will create uh, and based on the Microsoft Graph connectors. And it will also rely on an API plugin, which is the one we define to consume the backend API. The API plugin definition relies on another JSON file where you can have the definition of all of the actions, like for example, the get consultants one that we used before, or the action to get the user information. And for each of them, we also have the definition of the input and output elements in the communication, as well as in the definition file, we have the open API definition of the API that we want to consume. Plus, you will learn how to declare all of these settings in the manifest file of the Microsoft 365 solution that you will use to deploy the declarative agent. Last but not least, you will also learn how to create, to actually create the REST API in the backend and how to secure it with open authorization and enter ID. That's all of what you will learn in the extend path. Last but not least, let's say that you want to create an agent which will rely on a custom foundational model or a custom orchestration model and that, generally speaking, will be completely customized. So that's what you want to do when you want to create a custom engine agent. And that's the build path, path B. So let's dig into that one as well. In the build path, you will learn how to create a custom engine agent using Teams Toolkit and relying on the Azure AI services. Specifically, you will create a new Azure OpenAI service instance. You will configure a deployment based on the foundational model GPT-40, and you will provide a custom knowledge base based on a set of PDF documents with a list of resumes. You will also configure a search index in the Azure search service and you will play with the vector-based search so that, for example, you will be able to see all of the uh, PDF of the resumes indexed by the search index with the vector search values available. And then you will create a custom engine agent which will allow you to provide prompts to search for specific candidates based on skills or capabilities. So you may want to search for candidates who speak Spanish and who have at least two years of experience with .NET. And by triggering this prompt, you will consume the backend Azure OpenAI service and you will get back the information about those candidates. You will also see how to configure custom citations in the output of the agent, how to configure the label to instruct the user that the output has been AI generated, how to provide sensitivity labels, how to have support for authentication and authorization based on the user identity, and generally speaking, how to create a full experience with a custom engine agent. That's all of what you will learn in the build path. I hope you enjoyed the journey across all of the pathways available in Copilot Developer Camp. Remember the URL aka.ms slash copilotdevcamp and have fun creating amazing agents for Microsoft 365 Copilot. Thank you.